Hey y'all, Jacobon here, and welcome back to FF14 Heavensward. Last time, we met the Grand Sayers, and oh my goodness. Woo! Damn. Senile does not even begin to describe these three. And now we know that Gigi's actual name is Vivi, so yes, direct FF9 reference. And he is indeed wielding time magic, and they want him because they expect him to be a fountain of youth. And Vivi, looking for answers about who he was, decided to go with them. So, Ugg. All right, Seer. Let's see if we can't finish out this quest line before the heat wave we've got rolling through here turns me into a crispy critter. The proud and the pointy-eared. Oh, God. <sighs> Uh, apologies for not getting recordings done earlier. Like I said, it's been very, very hot out, and my real life schedule has been kind of a pain the last couple days. I have gotten some grinding done on 7, but not as much as I'd like, so bear with me until I'm ready to actually get that fully recorded. Anyway, to Seer! We need to speak, Decobon. I've been scouring the archives for any information regarding temporal magics since last we spoke and the results have been rather troubling, to say the least. Hmm? As you may or may not be aware, ancient Alag is portrayed in the Echiridion as a cautionary tale, a great empire brought low by its vanity and hubris. However, there are certain apophrical texts in which the Alagans are cast in a more sympathetic light, if not outright exalted. <laughs> uh, I can imagine a couple authors who would say that. Twas in these texts that I found reference to temporal magics once wielded by Alagan mages, Said magics could be used to halt or even reverse the temporal state of a given object. <laughs> well, stop does exist as a magic spell in Final Fantasy, and I guess reverse maybe does too in some way. If these accounts are to be believed, and if Gigi's and these magics are one and the same, then it may well be possible for him to turn back the hands of time for the Grand Sears, much as he restored the Duke's priceless face. That being said, there is no telling how this will work with regards to a living being. Consider, if you will, that the vase was filled with water when shattered. Even if the vessel were restored, what would become of its formal contents? What w would it be filled with water as before? The very same, every drop returned, or would it be different water? Or would the water once spilled be forever lost? Hm. I speak of the soul, my friend, for even if one could use these magics to restore the dead to life, would they be as they were before, with all the same thoughts and memories and feelings? Hmm. Interesting thought there. The Grand Sayers are convinced they can regain their lost youth, and mayhap they can. But the dead who have entered into Halone's halls cannot return. They cannot. Yet Gigi is nevertheless resolved to try and resurrect Archmage's Quan. Hmm. Ah, speaking of which, according to some Shalian texts in the archives, Archmage's Quan was an accomplished scholar known for his study of ancient Alagan magics. Further evidence that Gigi's abilities are likely derived from ancient traditions, I suppose. But more importantly, I learned the location of the Archmage's former residence. Mayhap we could find something of interest there. Something which could help us persuade Gigi to change his course. Hm, <laughs> good thought. I had a mind to summon Inspector Hildebrand and make the journey there together. Would you be willing to join us? Wait, you willing to get the Inspector? Oh, damn. Excellent. Then let's be about our business. Uh, I, I saw you, <laughs> heretic. Can I help you? I beg your pardon. Are you accusing me of being a heretic? Ah, I found my old voice at last. G yes, you, Inquisitor Seer. I saw you sneak into the archives and seek out the forbidden tomes. I saw the mad light in your eyes as you partook of the f forbidden knowledge. Oh, for the love of... I did all of that for my investigation! Ah, you, you admit your crimes! That you did secretly, without permission, in blatant contravention of our rules. Read f f forbidden tomes! That by virtue of the authority fisted in me by the Supreme Secret Champion of Hadunic Inquisitory Doctrine! Oh god, I think I'm going to have a heart attack here. You. You stupid. Ignorant. Are you all so desperate to keep your constant jobs that you go around accusing all the world and his wife of heresy? Is that what we've been reduced to? What do you mean reduced to? This is what you did all the time. 
I'm sick and tired of looking for heretics in every bloody shadow, of trying to guess the secret sins of everyone I meet. It's stupid and pointless, and we're better than that, damn it! We're better than that. Damn. He's been holding that one in for a while. If, if, if you want to surrender yourself, I have no choice but to do for my experience. Yes, I'll do that. I have probably made myself a lot of trouble, haven't I? Well, that just all came tumbling out, didn't it? I suppose there's no point in trying to convince myself that I have no personal investment in this matter. Or that I still have a professional one. Somewhere along the way, I stopped looking for the guilty and started looking for, for the truth, perhaps, and a way to help those in need. Congratulations, you have just graduated from Inquisitor to Decent Human Being. But there's no place for people like that in the Inquisition, is there? And it's only a matter of time before that stuttering fool comes back with an armed guard. They're just apart for Idleshire at once. We need to find the Inspector, preferably before I'm arrested. <laughs> My goodness, character growth. I can't believe it. Ah, there you guys are. <sighs> oh, there's Nashu and Julian. But, uh, where's Hildy? It would seem we arrived too late. Inspector Hildebrand has already gone off on his own to confront the Grand Sears. Damn it. They came back briefly to trade Jiggly Shine for supplies and whatnot, you see. And the Gobbies ear caught them trading thumb flaps about killing dragons in the Forelands. Nashu, you've been here too long, apparently. When the inspector learned about it later, he said he had to get after them right away and back take Gigi. He said he had a duty, not as an inspector, but as a father. Back at that! He's got no obligations for a bloody mammoth, especially one that chose to leave of its own free will, as I recall. I swear I turned my back on the boy for one bleeding second, and he loses his god's damn mind! I'm afraid he might try to do something reckless. Don't you think we should try to find him and offer hand, le hand lending? <laughs> I, that might have been a nod. I'm not entirely sure. It's kind of hard to tell if my character's cocked <laughs> head like this. I am rather more concerned about what will happen if the Grand Sears attack. Or worse, kill any of Hracefelker's brood. Ooh, ooh yeah, that, that could legitimately be a problem. This is definitely post-peace treaty here. But first things first, I suppose. Dickamon. Would you be so kind as to assist Mistresses Nashu and Julian in their search for the Inspector? I will pay a visit to Archmage Corn's abandoned abode in the meantime. Oh, and before you think to refuse, know that you need not fear for my safety. Let us just say that our singular experiences together have inured me to the harsh realities of, well, reality. <laughs> okay. Uh, huh. Could it be that the scorny little shite's finally found his spine? He just might have. Let's start by heading to Tailfeather. I reckon the inspector probably went there first to ask after the Grand Sears. So, if we do the same, we're sure to catch up with him eventually. Okay, that's a legit nod. <laughs> Ugh, weird cockeyed character position. Okay, to Tailfeather. Alright, well, there they are, but again, no inspector to be seen. Right then, I say we split up and make inquiries separately. If you learn anything about the Inspector or the Grand Sears, or Gigi, come and tell me. Okay. Once again, having to question random people. And it's always three. It's always three. These guardians with the mammoth, they were here, aye, proclaiming to all and sundry that they were going to slay the greatest dragon of them all. The gods only know if the naive fools were serious. Oh, God. That sounds like it's gonna be a recipe for trouble. Oh, the daft salts. They went for Antic's Shrine. Not quite sure what their intentions were, but they were awfully confident, that much I recall. Hmm. Oh no, they're gonna go after Vidofnir, aren't they? Yeah, that's gotta be it. I mean, I can't expect them to actually make it all the way to the Hinterlands and go for uh, Freysvelger. Yeah, that could be a problem, though. Three dragon slayers and a mammoth, eh? I'd call you a mama if I hadn't seen them come through early and boasted about how they were off to kill the biggest one yet. Damned idiots. Every one of them. Well, that was an interesting bit of information. And hello, Nashu. 
Seems you are also finding something useful. At least I hope so. Otherwise, well, this might have been a giant waste of time. It seems everyone saw them. These guys were not subtle. Oh, Nashi, you all right? She didn't find anything, did she? Fine, I did all the heavy lifting as per usual. Oh, I see. So, the Grand Sears were headed for Annex Train. And my dear boy wasn't far behind them either. What are we waiting for? Let's go, let's go! Ah, Annex Train, just a short flight away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, we found one of the Grand Sears. God dang it. You hang around Hildebrand too long and, uh, well, this happens. The poor unfortunate soul who bears a striking resemblance to Orland is quite firmly but Oh my god! <laughs> what am I talking about? He had the armor, it's Hildy! What are you doing here, man? Would you look at that? The inspector should give him what for! Nashu, it is the inspector. That may be, but where'd the other two get to? Not to mention the mammoth. Why don't we pull him out and ask? Though, having said that, it looks easier said than done. Oh, how silly of me! I'm sure you've got more than enough strength to yank him free. Right, Dickamon? Ugh. <sighs> Fine. I'll yoink him out of the ground. I mean, it's very obviously the inspector, so... Yep! <laughs> I called that in a heartbeat. Good lord, man. Can't leave you alone for five seconds without finding you buried ass deep in the dirt again. Well, I'll be! He's just wearing some sort of magic mask, which makes him look just like the inspector. Just like that man of a thousand faces back in Uldar. No, that's Hildebrand, all right. There's no fool in a mother's eyes. Uh. Oh, oh, that's, uh... That's gotta be Godbert, uh, just my context there. I say, what trouble has my beloved son gotten himself into this time? What are you doing here, God? Oh! Hey, Seer. Why, hello there, Lord Godbert and Inspector Seer. How'd you two end up traveling together? Blind fortune, you might say. I was too far from Tailfeather when night began to fall, but fortunately Lord Godbert chanced to find me wandering in the wilderness. Lord Edmund told me all about this recent trouble with the Grand Sears, as well as Hildy's investigation. And a father cannot help but take an interest in his son's affairs, can he? As for me, I was eager to share with you my latest findings, namely Archmage's Quan's research notes. Mmm. Ah, speaking of. Mmm. Mm. Oh, I haven't slept like that since I was buried in the lichyard. Jesus. Well, well! I must confess no small measure of embarrassment to be found in such a state, having been so unceremoniously disposed of by the Grand Sears. Really? Uh, how? But, ignominy notwithstanding, I am most grateful for your succor, and pleasantly surprised to be reunited with you all. <laughs> this wouldn't have happened if you waited for us instead of... Wait. Why in the hell are you still wearing that rubbish? An impenetrable disguise is essential when consorting with the criminal elements. Alas, Twitzy of the Grand Sears have grown more perceptive in their newfound youth. Wait, what? Wait, do you mean they've already regained their youth? What about Gigi? Did you see him? Was he behaving strangely? Now that you mention it, his warm, soulful eyes were rather more pointy than I remember. By the fury, not pointy! According to Archmage Quan's notes, that's a sign Gigi's using too much magic! If he carries on like this, his ether will be expended, and he'll end up not more than an empty husk! This, this, this is terrible news! We must catch up to the Grand Sears at once! Do you know where they were headed? All I heard that they were keen to slay dragons. They were bound for the Churning Mist, a place called Zenith to kill a great worm named Nidhogg. Uh, dude, Nidhogg's dead. Twice. Really? That all happened? Huh. Um, I, I met the other one, Kreisvelga. Oh, shit. Kreisvelga? 
Fury, take me. What could they possibly hope to achieve? Nothing good will come of this. I cannot believe they're going to try and take on Race Velger. I can't expect them to succeed either, but, you know, I don't know how strong they actually are now. If I could turn back time, and this is the last quest. I, Hildebrand, Agent of Inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire, do hereby ask you all to aid me in rescuing my son and putting a stop to the Grand Seer's machinations. You know, there's really no need for all that. We came because we wanted to help. I, Nashu, faithful assistant, maker of explosives extraordinaire, do hereby present to you this fresh change of clothing. Capital! I knew I could count on you, Nashu. I shall change in route. Come, my friends, to Zenith and to Gigi. Oh. Oh, no uh, comments from the peanut gallery of the parents, huh? All right, we're heading all the way to Zenith. Thank goodness for the etherites. Okay, let's see where this ends up with. Make ready, my friends. The final battle with the Grand Seers is at hand. Oh no. Oh God. It would seem my wounds were more serious than I thought. I fear I am in no condition to confront our foes. There's but one thing that could restore me to my former indomitable self. Don't you worry. I've got some salamander oil right here. Shall mummy give you her baby boy a massage? Oh, my dearest mummy. Um, uh, mother dearest. I would not impose upon you. Not when my ever loyal associate Dickamon stands ready to minister to my muscles. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, don't tell me you're embarrassed. Let mummy take care of little Hildy's hurts. My dear wife, I know you mean well, but let Dickamon handle it. Theirs is a bond which transcends time and space and personal boundaries. If that's the way of it, I'm counting on you, Dekimon. Alright, hand over the grease. I'll lube this guy up something fierce. Let us brook no further delay. Come, my friend, coat my bodily in oil, as you have done many a time before. I think I've done this like once, maybe twice. Why do you hesitate? Have you not done this time and time again? Oil me up, man! I cannot believe this. At least he keeps his clothes on. Oh, how it soothes my aches and pains. Quickly now, knead it into my flesh. Knead as you never kneaded before. <laughs> All right, good old rub down. Ah, oh, the regards, furious kneading. I applaud your enthusiasm, but mayhap I urged you to excessive force. <laughs> oh, nay, you are in the right. Already the gentle warmth begins to spread throughout my body. The fires of righteousness burn anew in my breast. Hold, my son. Though your passion is renewed, you may yet be spurred to greater feats of Mandevillian strength. Derived from the purest essence of Salamanders, the ancient legacy of House Mandeville, Salamanderville, to you, my beloved son, I become a proud father. I bequeath this most sacred of oils. Salamanderville! Could it be that the legends were true? Your muscles shall shine with the brilliance of a thousand suns. No mortal man will have the power to do you harm. Verily it is so, for by its grace did I once wither the slings and arrows of a bandit horde and bring my hammer of justice to bear upon their wicked heads. The time has come, Degumon. Take this oil and help Hidley become the Mandeville man he was meant to be. Oh my god. <laughs> Tis a sacred duty, and I accept. I... I am ready for my final oiling, Dekumon. Are you? Are you truly? Because let's see. I'm gonna watch this melt his clothes off. Oh. 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 The Salabantaville. How it flows into every nook and cranny. Quickly now, lay your hands upon me. Massage me with all your might. <laughs> oh, I can't take this quest slide. Oh, yes, yes, that's the spirit. I can feel it building and rising, rising. Oops, not that. Excuse me. Oh my God, and he's in the pose, no less. Uh, 
Maybe I really should have changed position because now I'm pretty sure I'm just massaging his ass. <laughs> such passion, such fervor. I am the Inferno Unbound, the Tempest Unleashed, but I have not yet begun to pose. Uh, I'm gonna move positions just for, uh, uh <laughs> I'm kind of like it better. It's safer on the side. Oh, wow, this is a long one. <laughs> uh, uh, I am. I am Amanda. Amanda. Amanda Villeman! Uh, uh, the Salamanderville is. My word. I've never felt so alive. Such vibrant colors, such intense sounds, such <sighs> fragrant smells. This is LSD, isn't it? Yep, it's pure LSD. You've been massaging me with pure LSD. Mother, father, Decamon, it was your oils and your strong yet tender fingers which opened my eyes to the glory of creation. I am a gentleman inspector reborn. Onward to Zenith. No matter the laws of nature they pervert, or the limits they break. The Grand Sayers can do not to stop me. Wow, even get some epic music for this. Whew. Oh man, my uh, my throat is hurting after trying to do all that. <laughs> nice. Look at this. Actually kind of serious for a moment. <laughs> oh, look at this epic walk with everyone. I love it. Okay, this is starting to go on a little longer than it ought to. Oh, there they are. The Grand Sayers. Damn! Little Gigi juice is good for the bones. Wow. They actually pulled it off. <laughs> All right, now where's my Gigi? Uh, I, I still enjoy the fact that Master uh, Godbert has the Master Roshi, but oh, he's got angry eyes now. Grand says, I have come for my son. Oh, must we do this now? We have a dragon to slay after all. There is no need for any of this. The war is over. But not for long. The worm's death will give rise to a new era of fire and blood. And we, having consumed his eyes, will use our new powers to win untold glory on the battlefield. Our legends will echo in eternity! You would doom countless innocents for glory? No, I won't allow it! Over my dead body! Far be it for us to deny you then. This is the end for you. The ultimate end. Uh oh. Okay, they might actually be goddamn superheroes or supervillains in this case. <laughs> yeah, even Godbert and Julian are like, oh, this is a problem. Come on, Hildy, let's see that super oil do some work. Oh no. Oh no. This is the scene for when I kicked La Brea's ass. Wow. They're actually hitting it with Knights of the Round. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. All the skills I recognize. There's Flare, Arrow 3, <laughs> Wheeling Thrust, a little Blizzard 4. Some, some rock three. 
Fuck your skull goal. Damn, just everything under the sun. Oh no. Oh no, here comes the Dragon Song Dive! <laughs> oh, Hildy just got rocked. Damn. Well, that was an impressive little show. And of course, Gigi's here giving us the old stink eye. Well, that sucked. Oh yeah, yeah. That's Salamanderville. It worked great. <laughs> eh? Have faith, my love. He is our son. You sure, Master Roshi look alike? And yeah, that was the thing I wanted to mention earlier. The fact that he's got the little six dots on his head <laughs> makes me think of Master Roshi every time I see Godbert. Damn. Nothing else, he's a hardy son of a bitch. Gigi, my beautiful boy. Pray do not look on me with such pointy eyes. Let Papa Hildy take you home to our gazebo. Stop calling me that! My name is Vivi! Vivi! Remember everything! My powers! My purpose! My Grandpapa Kwan! I made them young again! But it's not enough! I need more! MORE! I need the worm's eyes! And then I can finally bring him back! Uh, that's what this is all about. Damn. I'm sorry, Gigi. But no, you cannot. Grandpapa Quadn is gone. He's right, Gigi. Mayhap you could restore his corporeal form and breathe light into it. But his soul, what made him your grandpapa, is forever beyond your reach. That's not true! I can restore everything to its ideal form! To the way it should be! Even Grandpapa Quan! Even you, Papa Hildy! Oh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Please, Gigi! You have to stop! If you keep using your power, you'll die! Oh dear. Oh! God, what's Hildy gonna look like? Oh my god. Nothing. Huh? Triple tap and nothing. You're either running out of gas or you just don't work on Hildy. I I don't understand. Your clothes are still dirty and tattered. It's the grease. I looped him up too well. <laughs> as they should be, Gigi. For my every waking moment is as the gods intended. Every day I live life to the fullest. Every day I enjoy grand adventures. I found your grandpapa's research notes. What he gave you wasn't the power to make things the way they were. He gave you the power to change the world. To make things the way you yourself believed they should be. That's why your magics have no effect on the inspector. Because you know in your heart that this battered and bruised form of his is in its own way right. Wow. It's not time magic. It's wish magic. It's even better. My thoughts exactly, Inquisitor, sir. And it is for this self-same reason that you were unable to make Grandmaster Quan younger. In your heart, you knew there was not that needed to be changed. Your beloved Grandpapa was exactly as he should be. Your every day was to be treasured and worthy of celebration. Then, then what about the Grand Sears? Why was I able to make them young again? Oh, you truly... Oh, sorry. Wrong voice. Oh, you truly knew of them were the stories they told. Wondrous tales of daring do by heroes in the prime of their lives. It's no wonder you were able to envision them as such. Odds are, in the real world, they were nowhere near this powerful. That's all they ever talked about. When they were young, 
and free and full of fire. At first, Archmage's Quan didn't understand the true nature of your abilities. He struggled to deduce why you could not make him younger as he originally intended. Eventually, he realized that your fond memories of him were preventing you from conceiving of him as anything but an elderly creator, and that the only way to achieve his goal would be to take them from you. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Wow, that's got some serious connotations there. So Quan deliberately blanked his memory. That's... wow. But you were all he had left in the world. No longer a mere mammoth, but a friend. Family. His only family. His grandson. He couldn't bear to lose you, so he renounced his quest for immortality. But I still lost my memories in the end. He was afraid of leaving you all alone in the world. Afraid that others would attempt to take advantage of you and your magics. So before he died, he decided to take your memories from you after all. To protect you. But despite his best efforts, something remained. Something stronger and more powerful and more resilient than anything Archmage's Quad never dared dream. You were never broken, Gigi. You were never abandoned. All he wanted was to set you free! Free? Free to do what? Whatever you like, Gigi, don't you see? That was his final gift to you! A new life, a new story, all your own! Aww. This has all been very, very touching, but we're not getting any younger. Well, you aren't at any rate. We have suffered your meddling long enough. I had intended to use this trap to kill the worm, but since you are so perfectly positioned... Oh no. What'd we walk into? Oh, hi. Uh... Oh. Oh dear. Um... Uh, Ray Sugger is not gonna appreciate you messing with the architecture, girl. Also, this is gonna really hurt. Hmm? <gasps> oh! He's back! Yay! <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I know, the, the sad music's starting, no! No, not the heroic sacrifice music! Oh no, he is, yep. Holy cow. I am Phoebe, grandson of Archmage's Quan, and Gigi, son of Hildebrand! Damned auto advancing text. I didn't get to read the full line, but I realized it was just Hildebrand's full name. <sighs> and he unfuts to the architecture and saved us all. <sighs> ah, of course he's dead again. Or as close as dead as Hildebrand ever gets. Oh! He knocked us all on our butts. <laughs> My gunplate is phasing through the ground. Ow. <laughs> well, that was impressive. Yep, I was right, he fixed the towers. They're back to being old again. <laughs> oh well. 
It was nice while it lasted, wasn't it? <laughs> He's back to being naked, too. Mm hmm. So much for the fountain of youth? Why? Oh, Jesus. Magic with a little haywire there, I think. Oh. Ah, alas, poor Gigi. I knew him, Hildebrand. I knew him well. Man. You know, for the humorous plotline, this is a serious one. Well, nice of the game to be like, oh, here, have some daylight. And... Godbird, are you warming up for something particular, or is this just your idol? <laughs> You're worrying me, man. Uh, maybe they're gonna have him try and fix Gigi again. It's like it never happened. With the last of his strength, he turned back the hands of time. Not just for the pillars, but for us all. He made us all as we once were. As we were meant to be. After all that gallivanting about, I can butter all? What about my misspent youth? I was not meant to be this bloody old. <laughs> such a fine day. Never have I squatted with such perfect form. I may well have reached my physical peak. <laughs> so he's just showing off now. <laughs> what rot! I can age you, daft sod! You look foolish. You should be grateful. She saw what you had become and gave you a second chance. That was our second chance. To relive our glory days. It was all rather silly though, wasn't it? Maybe Quan had the right of it. Maybe it's not so bad growing old. I was a coward when I was young. And now that I'm old, I'm not afraid to say things like... I love you, Doris. Aww. <laughs> You're a blind, bloody fool, Godspot. <laughs> ah, I suppose. I guess we'll take what happy endings I can. Of course, Hildy is still out like a damn light. Oh! <laughs> I say, am I dead again? Eh, you're fine. Quite alive, Inspector, along with everyone else, thanks to Gigi. The Grand Sears are also in our custody. Ha 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 ha! That's my boy! Where is the little tyke, anyway? <sighs> this is where the bad news comes in. Gigi, he... Gigi embarked on a grand new adventure. He's... he's no longer with us. Aww. I see. If that's what he wanted, then... then I could not be happier for him. 
I am sure Archmage's Quan would feel the same way. God dang it. This is getting me teary-eyed. This is supposed to be the humorous quest line. Stop making me cry, damn it. What do we do now, Inspector? Is it not obvious, Dashu? The wide, wide world beckons to us with the promise of mystery and wonder. We shall resume our never-ending quest for cases perplexing and profound. And perhaps one day, we shall meet young Gigi again. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I hate to admit it, but this whole mess got me thinking that maybe... Maybe it wouldn't be so bad if I really did have a grandson. Oh, You heard him, Hildebrand! You did right by Gigi, Hildy. Your father and I can see that. We're proud of the man you've become. And I am proud of you too, Mother, for finally coming to terms with the ephemeral nature of physical beauty and allowing yourself to age gracefully. And those were the famous last words of one Hildebrand Manderville. This is where you die, good sir. <laughs> Gracefully, was it? <laughs> I feel we may have had a failure to connect! I know it said communicate, I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! And it's a long, hard drive down center field! He's going, going! Ooh, off the fence post! There he goes again! Wait for me, Inspector! Wait! <laughs> oh my god! Ah, <laughs> oh, we needed some levity after that, but damn. Hark! What is that curious light I spy in the far eastern skies? And this oh so familiar scent which fills my nostrils! Do I smell a case? Worry not for me, my friends! For wherever the wronged want for succor, I, Hildebrand, shall be there till we meet again! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> and there's poor GG. Dang. Well, what's the plan here? I say, you do know that so long as the core remains intact, little Gigi is not actually dead. Yeah, it's a mammoth. That's right. So, dry your tears, boys. There's no need for all this noping about. He has fallen into a dormant state because he used up all his ether. His core will gradually recharge as it draws upon the ambient ether, and in time, he will awaken from his torpor. I shall tend to the child for now. Also, apparently he took all the grandson's weapons. <laughs> yeah, you three idiots. As for these three, I should be glad to take them back to Ishgard in your stead. A most generous offer, my lord, but hardly necessary. After all, it is my duty to bring them to justice. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. It was my duty. After everything I said to that young Inquisitor, I can't go back to Ishgard. They'll toss me in a jail and throw away a key if they don't kill me outright. Hmm. So, go to Idleshire and live in Hildy's gazebo. Someone ought to look after it while he's away, no? Huh, that's actually not a bad idea. That doesn't sound all that bad, actually. Full glad am I to accept your offer. <laughs> so 
see things work out in the end. Now hand over the VV. Well? Ah, I suppose there's nothing for it but to wait until he comes back down. Might take a while. Another whole expansion, perhaps. It was a most graceful strike, my love. You haven't lost your touch. Ah, <laughs> uh, and there we go. Oh my goodness. <sighs> you gotta love the Hildy quest line. You gotta love it. <laughs> All right. See you, Inspector. Whew. Oh, wow. Uh, I really thought that would be the end of the quest, but no, there's still more. I suppose there's nothing forward but to leave the Grand Sears to Lord Godbert, and for me to see the Inspector Hildebrand's gazebo. I'd like to thank you for everything you've done. If you find yourself in Idleshire, come and see me. There are a few arrangements I need to make, but I can't imagine that it will take that long for me to settle in. <laughs> nah, I'm sure the Gobbies will take good care of you. Thank you, my friend. Until we meet again. In the next 30 seconds, I suppose. Right, I'm assuming that's where you want me to go. Yep, speak with Sierra and Idleshire for the finale. <laughs> and of course it's pouring rain here in Idleshire. Looking back on the course I've run, it's hard not to think of the man I was and feel ashamed. After all, I got settled with this horrible voice. Before I took on the case, I had only left the capital a handful of times. The rubbish I believed in, the facts I considered unassailable. Fury, take me, what a fool I was! If I hadn't met you, and the Inspector, and Gigi, I would never have realized how much I'd come to hate my job! Nor would I have discovered how much more satisfying it is to seek out the truth, the whole truth. One might say that getting labeled a heretic and having to flee Ishgard is the best thing that could have happened to me. After all, now I am free to start a new life here in Idleshire as a consulting Inspector. <laughs> Why not? Ah, but enough of that. There is someone I would like you to meet. Hmm? <gasps> it's a mini Vivi! Lord Godbert made some modifications, as you can see. His smaller size should allow him to absorb ether more effectively over time. We thought that if he were to travel with you and share in your grand adventures, that maybe, maybe it would hasten his reawakening. Oh, That's sweet. That is so sweet. Thank you, my friend. I do hope our paths cross again someday. May the Fury bless you and keep you. <laughs> One last nod for the road as I accept my new traveling companion, Vivi. Yep, there- oh, Gigi, I'm sorry. Also known as Vivi, but his secret is safe with you. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's sweet. Oh, even get a little uh, credit sequence for this. That's adorable. <laughs> oh. Is he? Oh, no, he's still in the same outfit. Oh, uh, not quite, actually. No, never mind. He is, uh, he's in his own little Manderville-esque outfit. <sighs> My goodness. Seer, you have made an amazing turnaround. <laughs> and I have no idea what half of these credits say. <laughs> oh, I think that's Ed, actually. So I, I recognize four Tom. GG. Oh, don't you dare! Don't you dare. That's right. You leave that exactly where it is! <laughs> and the Dobbins! The Dobbins are always following everywhere we go. Hildebrand will return. Yes, he will. I promise you that. 
That's it. Alright, guys. We've officially completed the Hildebrand quest line. And that means we are on the home stretch. There's only one more patch worth of quests. I believe one more dungeon. Maybe two? I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. But I know there's at least one. And it's part of the main story. Oh, and that's it. Then Heaven's Word will be done. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite. And subscribe to join me for more Aeorzean adventures. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.